Yeah, from the Appleton Beer Factory, uh, cooking with uh, something that's really hot and trendy, and that is black rice. Mm -hmm. uh, this is all the rage. I, I went to Chicago recently. A lot of the sushi restaurants offer now mm -hmm. black rice in their sushi um, because it's gluten free, right? Right. And it's, uh, it has a lot more nutrition. It's kind of the new quinoa, but you know, a lot of us didn't even grab, grab that trend, yeah, yeah. you know, but um, it's really easy to work with and the flavor is really mild. It so looks it's, cool too. It it's really looks beautiful. pretty. It yeah. is. So you find it in your organic uh, foods department. Do you cook it just like you would regular rice? Absolutely. So exactly the water the same. And the, yep. 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 Have, you know, twice as much water as you have rice. Sure. sure. And Let it steam until yep. it evaporates. And exactly. It's same thing. It's gorgeous to put in soups and stews. We're going to make a healthy um, but hearty a black rice salad with uh, butternut squash and, and pomegranates, which my mm -hmm. daughter is all over pomegranates. So mm -hmm. um, do you want to start with the dressing and I'll chop some green onion? Sounds good. And we, just, do you want these just diced up? Um, yep, just a nice thin slice. Okay. Um, you know, think about what you want to, how big of a slice you want to put in your mouth, you right? You got it. So we just start with olive oil and we have some uh, fresh, ooh, freshly squeezed lemon juice. Okay. And maple syrup. And so that's how we're going to sweeten it, was just using a little bit of Wisconsin maple syrup. That's no right. Sugar or, that's nope. a great idea. And then uh, some freshly ground black pepper and a pinch of salt. And so you're going to make your rice. Okay. I, of course, use black ale in my water because, you know, now that's a my beer thing. That is a really good tip. So when you're making rice at home, instead of water, maybe think about that. Mm -hmm. Doing chicken stock or vegetable stock or, or in this case, um, you cook at the restaurant um, because you've got beer around all the right. time. That's what you guys do. I mean, you're, you're all about, you know, brewing mm -hmm. the beer. Using it, you use it in a lot of your different recipes. We do. I mean, it's, it's an opportunity to add flavor. And, you know, like you were going with stock, yeah. chicken stock is yeah. a great thing, but anything you want to use to add some flavor to your rice, that's your opportunity right there. Yeah, in fact, uh, you know, whenever I make chili or a lot of my chili recipes, mm -hmm. I'll add a splash of beer to them. At mm -hmm. the end, the alcohol, a lot of times, will, it'll cook right out, but you're left with some really great flavor. Right. Hot roast, um, you know, oh, beef great. stew, all that kind of good stuff. Now, while you're doing this, so we now added our cooked rice um, right. for a second, um, and now, Let's talk about butternut squash and roasting right. it. We've actually got some extra time here. So okay. this is what this is. Uh, so you took a little butternut squash, and what did you do with it? Oh, so all you have to do with it is um, slice off the skin, which okay. is probably the most challenging part. Right. Um, scoop your seeds out, and then just dice it up into about a one-inch cube. Okay. And then I, you can use a large bowl or right on the baking sheet with some smoked paprika I used, and salt and pepper, and olive oil, and you roast it for about... It probably took about 20 minutes last night, but okay. my oven was a little lower because I was baking cupcakes too. <laughs> so, so on a cookie sheet, bake it until it and it gets. Um, do you want it pretty soft? You want it to, the toothiness to be gone, okay. and it's going to be kind of to your taste. Okay. Okay. Um, most people like it pretty soft, though. Sure. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I, you know, I, I think the butternut squash is such. People think it is a fall thing. You know what? Um, it's great at the grocery store right now, and uh, it's a great winter vegetable, something a little bit different to throw it, in your salads is. and things like that. And I mean, the flavor is so nice, and it is nutritious. Yeah, and know? it's so pretty. Really, I mean, really pretty in there. Yeah. So, um, and then also the pomegranate seeds. Um, I've seen several stores that they have them in the already done. Deli yeah, or, yeah, right, or yeah. in the produce section. Although um, we, we take the, the real ones and we just, um, you know, cut it, and, cut it and, and do them and Ireland packs them in our lunch, my daughter, yes. all the time. They're lovely. They are. They're really delicious mm -hmm. and, again, pretty. Mm -hmm. um, we eat with our eyes and that's what I love about this. And then I just have some toasted pecans. So okay. you can put them in on a separate pan in the same oven, but you got to keep an eye so on So there's going to be some crunch, some mm -hmm. texture, some color. Then we've got our scallion in here. Right. Now, we were talking about this. This would be great to make. Uh, and then, you know, you'll have it for lunch, to pack for lunch, a nice, quick, healthy lunch. Or pick up a rotisserie chicken on the way home from work. Right. Serve this as a side. doesn't matter. There's no mayo in it. So if it sits in your lunch, you know, it doesn't need to be, it can, doesn't have to be hot right. or cold. Or just room temperature is great. Which is great. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just a huge thing, especially if you're traveling or yeah 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 don't have to it have actually a be really nice for game day too to put mm -hmm. out some a healthy side like this you know I mean there's a lot of naughty food that we're going to be eating on on, on Sunday right. <laughs> the broths and the burgers and all exactly. that kind of stuff but yeah. to put out a healthy option like this as a side dish I think that'd be a really nice idea I I really liked it 
because of the color, because we're getting healthy things yeah. in, in us. And, you know, a lot of times we kind of want to shy away from that. Yeah. And at this time of year, we're trying to eat healthier. Right. Very right? true. Very true. All this football. Yeah. I don't know. I know. A it lot doesn't of make beer it easy. and burgers and brats. Sunday right? does not make it easy. Right. Okay. So real so. quick, we want to go over our menu again that we're serving for the big night out. Um, and we're going to put that up. Uh, Monday, February 9th is the night of our next big night out. We're headed to the Appleton Beer Factory. Uh, $60 per person. This is a five course meal. And each of the courses uh, is going to be paired with either your choice of their um, their home brews that you've made specifically right. that it'll pair well with whatever we're eating or wine. Um, starts with salmon carpaccio is course number one. That's right. And then we have our ave lemono soup and then the crab cake salad, uh, pork asabuco, and a vanilla Oh no, a stout cupcake mm. with our vanilla bean ice cream. Wow. Yeah. No one is going to leave here hungry, that <laughs> is for sure. So uh, talk about it today with your coworkers or your family or your special someone. Or you know what? Come alone. A lot of people actually come alone, and it's a great opportunity to meet people, mingle, and hang out. So big night out, February 9th, $60 per person. That includes everything. Appleton Beer Factory, and the number to call is 920 three six four nine nine three one now if you want to watch the game this weekend are you guys open on sunday we are and we have three dollar pints on sunday and five dollar off our flatbreads hey you can't yeah. beat that so yeah. maybe a place that's not quite as busy crazy as other places you can actually maybe see the tv there you can we actually have a big screen in the beer hall so it's really nice you can just relax and and watch some football and and we have shots uh, when the Packers score. Oh, well, added bonus there. And of course, great <laughs> food, uh, really delicious food. So we hope to see you at the big night out. If you can't make it there, if you haven't been to the Appleton Beer Factory, you really need to go. This is the restaurant that everyone's talking about in the Valley. Uh, sandwiches to, to main courses. And of course, this time of year, I know you're doing some hearty food too to keep Absolutely. you warm. Comfort food, right? Comfort food is what we're good at. Uh -huh. uh, chicken pot pie is a big Ooh. seller right now. So, oh, yeah. I'm so coming for some of that. That. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. And we'll put the recipe for this black rice salad with the pomegranate and that uh, butternut squash and that maple vinaigrette on our website. Always a pleasure to see you, Leah. Thank you for having me. It's Thank always fun you. to come. Thank you. I can't wait for the big night out. Can you tell I'm just a little excited? i got to figure out what to wear. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay with us.